Hey everyone, today I want to talk about our PAX system. The PAX administrators out in the real world have close relationships with their vendors, the company that provides their PAX system. And each week I'm going to show you a different component, a different desktop, a different thing in our PAX system. So to start that journey, I want to talk about our PAX vendor today. So we use Enterprise Imaging. It's made by AGFA. And it's not just another PAX. It's a little more. It's what they call Enterprise Imaging. So AGFA's next generation radiology IT solution brings RIS, PAX, reporting, and clinical applications together in one modular solution designed for operational excellence. And what that means is that a lot of places have a different risks made by a different company and they have a different reporting system and they have other clinical applications and all of these systems have to be stuck together and talk to each other and work together and so enterprise imaging brings all of those together on one platform so the benefits of an enterprise imaging pack system is it's one platform it consolidates the packs, the reporting, the risk connectivity, advanced clinical applications into one server and one database. And this reduces complexity and reduces the total cost of ownership. It's a modern and nimble structure. The 64-bit multi-threaded optimized for parallel processing, improved performance over high latency networks. It's scalable and resilient. A completely new platform built from the ground up using proven technologies. Yeah, one server, one database. It's definitely more modern and more nimble. Innovative deployment model. One release with regular updates automatically delivered. So minimal downtime. We can react to our customers and our market quickly. Yeah, instead of having to upgrade the risks and then upgrade the packs and then upgrade the Power Scribe 360, which will be the reporting module, you're <clears throat> upgrading everything at once. It allows for workflow orchestration. It, uses task-based workflow that supports the complicated workflows demanded by regulations and practices of contemporary medicine and we'll get into that as we work through the desktops in the weeks to come. It has sophisticated clinical capabilities. It has the focus there is the shared third-party integrations with TomTech and TerraRecon. Those are reporting modules and 3D imaging software, things like that and it has a new R&D philosophy. It's more agile, pun intended, and you don't get that joke, but I will help you get that joke. Before Enterprise Imaging, let me go back a slide. Their packs used to be called AGFA Impacts Agility. So Agility is the version 7 of AGFA packs. And if you look here, you can see we use version 8. They started calling version 8 Enterprise Imaging. So that's an inside joke to PAX Insiders. It used to be called Impacts Agility. So when they say it's Agile, haha, ha, it's a play on agility. This is Enterprise Imaging Architecture Goals. Now, this probably looks absolutely crazy to you, like some wild diagram with all sorts of arrows and things don't worry before you leave you will understand this diagram perfectly and you will understand all of these different interactions between all of these different PAX components and we're not even going to get into PAX components until next semester we need to get you DICOM HL7 and some other things so that you can begin to have the knowledge to know what these components are and we'll start in the spring on understanding the pack systems and components versioning <clears throat> as I said we use enterprise imaging 8.0 you can just look right here and see what version you're on this is a complex number and if you have a deep interest in versioning you can understand that but when you call in to your PAX vendor, the first thing they will say is, well, what version of our system are you using? Are you on version 7? Are you in version 6? You'll want to say, we're on version 8.0. And right now, we use version 8.0. However, we're going to do an upgrade to 
this will be 8.1 probably by the time you come for lab so that will be interesting some of the things that I show you in these screencasts over the semester will look a little different or behave a little different because you will probably do your labs on version 8.1 even though I will teach you on version 8.0 so <clears throat> here's what I was talking about in prior packs and this exists a lot today you still see a lot of best of breed pack systems where you have all these different applications and EHR integration acquisition workflow and IHE integration CD import right all these things sort of stuck together with different systems it's not centered around a core continuum you have different vendors different products it's an interoperability nightmare and it's a piecemeal approach right so best of breed means I'm gonna get the very best VNA out there I'm gonna get the very best company that makes universal viewing I'm gonna get the very best company that does image exchange and I'm gonna stick them all together and they have the best of everything but you got to make that talk they all have to work together and just because it's the best at what it does doesn't mean it's the most easily to connect to other things so when you move to an enterprise imaging solution right you have one platform that performs all of these different functions inside that one platform so maybe they don't do the VNA as well as the best VNA in the world or they don't do the best universal viewer as the top universal viewer but having them all work together on a single platform saves you from that interoperability nightmare so it's holistically centered around the care continuum it's modular and fully integrated it has solid interoperability and it has a convergence approach so enterprise imaging has a bunch of different components and here's all the components and we're going to talk individually about the components that matter to us so first of all we use the radiology suite it uses standard enterprise imaging desktops plus a zero viewer it does MIP MPRs 3d vessel viewing pet spec viewing <clears throat> it does virtual colonoscopy all these things I know you don't understand yet but you will you will understand all of those industry terms hopefully sometime this fall we'll also be adding the cardiology suite it uses the standard enterprise imaging desktops plus the zero viewer it also has structured reporting and this is specifically for cardiology so even though this is radiology informatics there's a whole other side of cardiology packs and we haven't up until now been able to train our students but we will you guys will be trained on cardiology packs and that will also up and open more job opportunities because you'll be able to apply for cardiology packs jobs and cardiology information system jobs and things like that we use the zero viewer the zero viewer is a universal viewer again I know you don't know what, what that is but you will you'll learn about it next semester and we'll talk about it a little bit more this semester it's basically a viewer like a web viewer that you can use any web browser to view images enterprise imaging business intelligence business intelligence is a module that helps do reporting how many CTs were done in the month of August in the ER it used to be you would have to just search those in packs and just manually count down the lines to figure out how many were done now they have a separate module called business intelligence that can pull data from enterprise imaging radiology or enterprise imaging cardiology or their risk products and you can do productivity workflow and quality control reports and that's a big booming part of radiology informatics it's just exploded over the last couple of years as people want to make more data-based decisions and have more regulations that require that they report these things they needed a better and faster way to create those reports and they're actually filling most of these positions with people stolen from the banking industry the financial sector is real good about counting about pulling reports about you know watching their profit margin things like that so they're actually poaching people from those fields to come in and do that type of work in the healthcare setting but we are going to get that module it's been funded I don't know when it's going to be installed we have to install the cardiology module first 
We're going to get that and we're going to teach you to do that. So that opens up another career path for you. We want to expand the career paths so you have lots of choices and lots of job opportunities when you graduate. So AGFA has four research and development centers. They have one in Ghent, which is in the country of Belgium. They have one in Shanghai, which is in China. They have one in Vienna, which is in Austria. And they have one in Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. And each of those sites, you can tell by the check boxes, focuses and works on different things. So if you're interested in configuration tools, that's done in Shanghai. If you're interested in zero integration, that's done in Waterloo, Canada. Database is done in Ghent and Canada. Um, Belgium only does list area and reporting. So you can look at those check boxes and see where each of those activities are covered by their research and development centers. Now, I'm going to show you a picture of the people in their four research and development centers. And the trick here is I want to know if you can spot the Canadians. Take a good look at this picture and tell me if you can just identify which one of these research and development centers represents the Canadians. Okay, did you pick them out? I mean, it's pretty easy because they're labeled, but just by looking at the picture, hopefully you recognized that these are clearly the Canadians. So it's kind of interesting that the, uh, the Austrians are all looking sharp in their suits and ties and you compare them to the Belgians. They all look relaxed and groovy, right? So you have the Austrians here and you have the Belgians looking a lot more relaxed. And of course, here you have the Chinese, but I gotta say, I love the Canadians looking sharp in the snow there. So this is the Worldwide Enterprise Imaging Footprint today. They have sold 171 of these systems. They have 26 in progress. They have 115 live in North America. They have 5% of the PAX market, and that is growing rapidly. They have expanded their install team by 14 people. Normally, you would see an install team hire one to three people a year. Last year, they hired 14 new people. In Latin America, 73% of the market uses enterprise imaging by AGFA. In Europe, they have 10% of the market. They don't sell and support and directly work with Asia, Oceania, and Africa. But in those areas, they have exported systems to cover 12% of the market. So that is the footprint for AGFA Enterprise Imaging. So that's a little bit about the company, about their products and how we're going to use them, and just a hodgepodge of PAX knowledge. I hope you enjoy watching. Thank you.